Okay, this video is going to be on how to create a portfolio gallery. I am on the W3 Schools webpage. I'm actually on this specific page. And the type of gallery that we're going to create is this one here. So I'm going to scroll down after the example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the HTML. So I am going to copy all the HTML all the way to the end of the div. And I'm going to go edit copy. I'm going to come over here at my page that I've set up. And instead of all these returns, these are just returns in here. I'm going to go ahead and delete those and paste in that code. And obviously the images that were on that website are no longer available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my frog images in here that I have in my USB. So I'm going to go quote to quote. I'm going to hit the delete key, create a new quote. I'm going to browse to where my images are located. And I'm going to put frog one in here. I'm going to go to the next column area where it says lights jpeg i'm going to go quote to quote and hit my delete key new quote i am going to browse to my folder again i'm going to pick up frog 2 scrolling down to the next column i'm going to go to this image nature jpeg i'm going to delete create a new quote browse Pick up frog three. Going to do the same thing for mountain. Hit the delete key, create a new quote, quote, and browse to image four of my frog. Now the last one is for this really large bear image. You can decide whether you want it or not. I'm just going to go ahead and add it. I can always get rid of it later by just deleting that div, but I'm going to hit the delete key, new quote, browse, and pick up frog five. Okay, I've got all my images in there, and you can see that you can go through here and you can change the text, okay, which is right here in the lorem ipsum. I'm going to come back to the W3 School page here, and I'm going to grab or add all the CSS, selecting it all, and I'm going to copy. Coming back up at the top here, I can either type out the script tag or open up the CSS designer and add define in page. Okay, I had a little bit of quirk going on, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and type it out myself. So I am going to go, oh, it there it popped up, that was weird. All right, I'm going to go after the style tag that was just created. After it, I'm gonna hit the return key and I'm gonna paste in all those styles. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and preview on the web. Save. Now here's the gallery. Again, I could go through here and change all the my work, my work, the lorem ipsum. If you don't want this larger image, you don't need it, you can go ahead and get rid of that in the code. So I could come down to where that's located, which is right here, and I could delete that entire div. Maybe I wanted multiple rows of these images. What I can do is I can select all those columns and rows right here. I'm going to copy. Right under it, I'm going to paste again. I'm going to go ahead and preview. And now I have multiple rows. Obviously, I'd want to go back out and swap these images for something unique rather than having these rows repeat. Okay. Maybe I want to get rid of my logo com. 
go back, find in your code where that's located. It's actually right here. I can get rid of that. Maybe I want to keep that horizontal rule. That would be up to you. I've got this text. I definitely could get rid of that as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and preview again. And there you go. I got an extra space in here that I'd want to get rid of. I think that's probably because of the um, horizontal rule, but I can get rid of that. It's not an interactive gallery, but it is a gallery that can display your images. All right. An additional note, when you added the CSS from this website down here, note that it added another body tag. So if you've got a body tag in your CSS style sheet that you have linked to, this body tag is going to overwrite it. So you could get rid of it in the CSS. If you don't mind it overwriting it, you could leave it. But the styles in the head of the document will overwrite the ones that are in the external style sheet. Again, look at the color back here. And if I delete that body, it's going to go back to white. So be careful about the duplications of your styles from your style sheet and from the ones that are ahead of the code. Again, the ones in the head of the, of the document are going to overwrite any external style sheet uh, styles. All right.